Hey guys, meet Half as Interesting's newest employee, Rush Limbaugh. Scraping the latest conspiracy theories from 4chan, Facebook, and emails whose subject lines start with forward, 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 Rush Limbaugh is going to help us capture the elusive 40 to 75 estranged uncle demographic. Allow me to demonstrate. Rush Limbaugh, give us a conspiracy. Barack Obama was not born in the contiguous United States. Okay, Rush Limbaugh, that's not really a conspiracy. Let me try again. Rush Limbaugh, give us a conspiracy. The COVID-19 vaccine was created in a lab. Come on, Rush Limbaugh. I stopped feeding my writers to be able to afford you. I'm going to give you one more chance. Rush Limbaugh, give us a conspiracy. Scientists in Singapore are building factories to breed diseased mosquitoes. That's not a conspiracy either. Everyone knows that scientists in Singapore are building factories to breed diseased mosquitoes. Wait, what was that? You don't know that scientists in Singapore are building factories to breed diseased mosquitoes? Well, that's great news because I just so happen to have already made the rest of this video be about that exact topic. Now, before you join the 10% of viewers who stop watching my videos after the first 60 seconds to post something racist in the comments section, I should clarify that there is a very good reason for Singapore to be doing this, which I'll get into in a minute. First though, I should explain the stakes. Mosquitoes are the deadliest animals on Earth, killing twice as many humans as humans, 20 times as many humans as snakes, and a million times as many humans as Caitlyn Jenner that one time. This danger, however, is fairly localized. Deadly mosquito-borne diseases are found most commonly in Sub-Saharan Africa and in smaller Pacific Island nations like Singapore. With a population of only 6 million, they recorded 26,000 cases of dengue fever just last year. The problem has gotten even worse during the course of the pandemic. Singapore experienced unusually wet weather in 2020, mosquito breeding grounds went mostly untouched during lockdown, and the presence of a hot new plague apparently made mosquitoes realize that they need to step up their game. But here's the problem. Mosquitoes are much like an unintended four-year-old in a Dave & Buster's. They're nearly impossible to restrict, slow down, or kill. Of course, we've tried many things, the most obvious being pesticides. In the past, pesticides have been fairly effective at combating diseases like malaria and dengue fever. For the past 40 years, most of the world has been using a type of pesticide called pyrethroids, which can be sprayed on home interiors and bed netting without harming humans or animals. But recently, we started to hit a wall. In countries where these pesticides are widely used, the Aedes mosquito, which is the bad boy breed most responsible for the spread of deadly diseases, has engineered a really effective vaccine to protect itself and also enacted some really sensible policies to stop mosquito news networks from telling all the mosquitoes that the mosquito vaccine was invented by mosquito Satan. Or maybe it's just natural immunity. I don't know. The point is, pesticides are becoming increasingly less viable in the parts of the world where they're most sorely needed. Now, there are other mosquito control techniques that we've used in the past, like reducing bodies of standing water where mosquitoes can lay eggs, breeding animals to eat mosquitoes like mosquito fish, and the classic slapping them with the old meat hook, but these are only partial solutions. Truly tackling this problem requires thinking like a mosquito, and since mosquitoes really only think about making more mosquitoes, that means making more mosquitoes. Many countries, like India, Australia, Brazil, and a handful more, have begun breeding mosquitoes to release into the environment, but there's a catch. These are no ordinary mosquitoes. After so many centuries of mosquitoes infecting us, we've infected them right back, specifically with a bacteria called Wolbachia. This bacteria actually prevents the mosquitoes from carrying diseases like dengue and zika, and females can pass the bacteria down to their children and spread it further in subsequent generations. This doesn't kill any mosquitoes, but it does downgrade them from life-ending to picnic groaning. Singapore, however, wasn't satisfied with this dumb, everyone wins Mr. Rogers BS and modified it to crush their enemies once and for all. They realized that while Wolbachia infected females can give birth, Wolbachia infected males spend too much time on Reddit and can't fertilize the eggs of normal females. By only releasing infected males into the environment, Singapore essentially dilutes the mosquito breeding pool with mosquitoes that won't have children. Over time, this gradually reduces the entire mosquito population in some areas by as much as 90%. Of course, there are still a few problems with this method. Since the infected males don't pass the bacteria along to the next generation, because again, the infected males can't have kids, the factories need to keep churning out mosquitoes in a constant stream to keep populations low. If they stop, the populations will eventually return to normal. Basically, they're fighting fire with fire, except both fires are mosquitoes, and they aren't so much fighting as they are having sad, unproductive sex. The other problem is that this method only works on one species of mosquito at a time, and with 3,500 flavors of mosquito out in the world, this sort of biocontrol can't address all of them. 
Now, I can only get so detailed with these short six minute videos, and I'll be honest, I don't have room in my brain for nitty gritty details of mosquitoes going at it, but if I know my audience, you probably still have a lot of questions. Things like, how are these immunities passed through generations? And how are babies made? Well, if I were you, I would take this inquisitive spirit to a site like our sponsor, Brilliant. Brilliant is a fun and engaging way to learn fundamental STEM concepts in your free time. If you enjoyed this video but want to learn more about the underlying subject, I would check out Brilliant's course on computational biology. This course covers many of the concepts that real scientists actually do to, for example, create millions of genetically engineered mosquitoes. The lessons are fun, engaging, and approachable, with a great mix of text, illustrations, and interactive quizzes. Brilliant breaks down big concepts into small, intuitive chunks, allowing you to learn complex concepts that might seem unlearnable. And that's just one course in a catalog of dozens of others, with daily challenges to keep your brain shipshape at all times. Best of all, you can sign up for free and get 20% off the annual premium subscription if you're one of the first 200 viewers to click this button or use our link below.